Madam Speaker, we've seen the reports in Global News and the Globe and Mail about the coordinated campaign by the communist dictatorship in Beijing to influence our elections, and they're doing that with money and resources to try to get preferred outcomes for parties who are and candidates who are sympathetic to them. We know that our security services briefed the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff, Katie Telford, and now we have the Procedure and House Affairs Committee, who's been filibustered for three days as part of the Liberal cover-up to prevent her from coming. Will the Prime Minister announce today that he will allow his Chief of Staff to testify and tell Canadians what she knew? The Honourable Prime Minister Secretary to the Minister of Intergovernmental Affairs, Infrastructure and Communities. Madam Speaker, I'm glad the member opposite raised the issues that are happening at PROC. PROC is doing incredible work to try and do the work of Canadians. Members opposite can laugh, and it's no surprise, Madam Speaker, that when we actually had ministers there again to answer questions for Canadians, all the Conservatives could do was take misogynistic cracks and digs at them, suggesting that a female minister couldn't possibly uh, do the job uh, in dealing with foreign interference. Madam Speaker, we're focused at PROC on doing the hard work and asking the questions of Canadians while they continue to spread their massage. The Honourable Member for Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rideau Lakes. We're looking for answers for Canadians, That's and right. the Liberals are engaged in a multi-day cover-up filibuster. Right. Our ask is very simple. The most senior person working for the Prime Minister, his Chief of Staff, Katie Telford was briefed by CSIS about the interference attempts by the communist regime in Beijing to interfere and to, to change the outcomes of our elections. We want the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff to testify at committee, and we want to know when she's going to testify. Otherwise, we need to know what are they trying to hide. The Honourable Prime Minister Secretary. Coming from the Conservatives, who once again we have heard time and time again that the issues of foreign interference is not new. In fact, it was raised when the leader of the opposition was the member, was the minister responsible. But in fact, he actually said that they weren't going to do anything in regards to dealing with foreign interference because he felt it wasn't in their partisan interest. While we continue to bring public servants, uh, ministers, members of our national security community to the committee because we want to ensure that we are strengthening our democratic institutions while Conservatives play part. Federal member for Calgary, Shepherd. They're stalling for time. The intelligence agencies briefed the Prime Minister's staff about direct election interference. They know the information the Parliamentary Committee needs to do its work. They're offering word salad and alphabet soup of agencies and organizations to hide behind. Will they stop blocking the work of Parliament and get the Chief of Staff to testify immediately. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. We continue to do the work of Parliament by adding additional meetings to PROC so that we can continue to have as many meetings as possible. Madam Speaker, we are working even when we are on constituency weeks because we find this issue so important. Our members are willing to be there to bring ministers back again. We brought public servants back again. We brought the national security community back because we want to ensure that Canadians are getting the answers. But, Madam Speaker, Conservatives continue to play partisan games. We're not going to let that get in the way of the very real work we have to do to strengthen our institutions. Member for Calgary, Shepherd. They're stalling for time. They're not allowing the committee to get to a vote to call the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff to testify. They're stalling for time by announcing a special rapporteur to take even more time to do the one thing that we need, which is a national public inquiry. They're stalling for time because now they're directing to ENSICOP, where we'll hear secret hearings, secret evidence, secret conclusions, and every single MP on that committee can be vetoed by the Prime Minister. Wow. It's very, very simple. They are stalling for time, and only a national public inquiry will stop it. Will they call one? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Public Safety. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And I will remind this House that Canadians and Canadians alone determined the outcome of the 2019 and the 2021 elections. We will use every tool available to us, unlike the Harper Conservative government, who did nothing to create an oversight committee of parliamentarians. It was one of the first acts that we did as a government. The, the National Security ENSICOP is a committee of parliamentarians that provides oversight. The UK has had one since 1994. We were late to the game, but we did it when we formed government, unlike the opposition. Here, here, here.
The Honourable Member for Megan Ticlerable. Madam Speaker, the Prime Minister was informed three times before the 2019 elections that a Liberal candidate had been targeted for its, uh, their links to the Beijing regime. The Prime Minister didn't deny that. The Prime Minister and his Chief of Staff attended briefings about those allegations and that intelligence that was provided by CSIS. We're rightly asking to hear from the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff at committee so that she can tell us what she knows about those briefings, Madam Speaker. Will the Prime Minister allow Katie Telford to appear? The Government House Leader. Thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. You know, interesting enough, foreign interference into elections is not something that's new. In fact, Madam Speaker, if you look into it, you'll see that there were reports to the former Prime Minister, Stephen Harper. And unbelievable what you recognize that the leader of today's Conservative Party was the minister responsible. And what did the minister responsible, the current leader of the Conservative Party, do? Absolutely nothing. Madam Speaker, we have been very aggressive on this file, and we will ensure the integrity of democracy here in Canada. The Honourable Member for Megan Ticlerable. Let's talk about what's happening nowadays, Madam Speaker. The Prime Minister learned that a member of his caucus had been involved in Beijing's meddling and was informed about that. The Prime Minister did not deny that and did not deny that his party received illegal funds from Beijing. Now we understand why he called on his members on the Procedure and House Affairs Committee not to allow Katie Telford to appear. They're afraid that she'll come and tell the truth under oath, Madam Speaker. Why does he continue to refuse to allow Katie Telford to appear before a public parliamentary committee? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Again, Madam Speaker, what we have seen is a litany of questions. You know, Wednesday there was like 20-some questions from the leader of the official opposition. And what I would really want the Conservative Party to recognize, that as I indicated, it is not a new issue. And when the Conservatives had the opportunity to actually deal with the issue, they intentionally chose to do nothing. Madam Speaker, since 2015, whether it's this Prime Minister or the Ministers responsible, we have taken tangible actions. We will continue to do so because it's protecting the integrity of our democracy. All of us believe in it. It's an apolitical... So, uh, time is up uh, for that question, but I do want to remind members that they've had an opportunity to ask questions. They can't be asking more questions or making comments while the answer is being given to them. So, I would hope that they would want to listen to it so that they can do follow-up uh, questions thereafter. Madam Speaker, in July 2020, Katie Telford, Prime Minister's Chief of Staff, testified before a Commons Committee on the WE Charity Scandal. In May 2021, she testified before a Commons Committee on sexual misconduct. And now this Liberal government is preventing her from again testifying under oath before a Commons Committee. When will this Liberal government end its filibuster and allow the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff to testify on Beijing's foreign interference? Honourable Prime Minister, Secretary to the Minister of Intergovernmental Affairs, Infrastructures and Communities. Madam Speaker, as I've said before, the work that PROC is doing on this file is, in fact, we have recalled witnesses, ministers, uh, public servants, members of the national security community, all to talk about this very important issue because we take it so seriously. But, Madam Speaker, it's already been confirmed in this House that the leader of the opposition sees this as nothing more than a partisan issue. While we are focused on ensuring that our institutions are strong, Conservatives continue to play games that can Committee and take political cheap shots instead of doing the work that Canadians sent them here to do. Member for Renfrew, Nipissing, Pender. Speaker, the Chief of Staff is the nexus for sensitive communications in the Prime Minister's office. She came to Finance Committee to testify on the Prime Minister's uh, scandal into the uh, uh, WE charity. And she came to defense on the former General Vance's sexual misconduct because the Prime Minister wouldn't. Even if she missed the CSIS 
briefing on the Beijing interference into the election scandals, she would have been advised by the National Security Advisor. Will, sh will the Liberals end the filibuster and allow her to come to committee? The Honourable Prime Minister, Secretary of the Government, House Leader. Madam Speaker, what is very clear is that we've had professional civil servants, apolitical professional civil servants, that have made it very clear to all Canadians that the outcome of the 2019 and 2020 elections were not influenced in any way from international interference. And in fact, Madam Speaker, if you take a look in terms of what we have done in contrast to what the Conservatives have done, you will find that the Conservative government failed in its responsibilities while we continue to live up to ours. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The Honourable Member for Provence. Madam Speaker, the cold winds of election interference have been blowing in Canada, and the Prime Minister has been caught up in their wintry blast. The Greek storyteller Aesop tells about a contest between the wind and the sun. Who was stronger? Who could remove the traveler's cloak? In the end, the sun won and was able to expose the traveler. The Prime Minister needs to open the shutters and allow the sun to remove the cloak of secrecy and expose the truth of Beijing election interference. Will the Liberals end their filibuster and let the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff testify on Beijing election interference? Here, here. Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. to talk about as well on this issue. Let me quote the leader of the opposition this week. Quote, of course the previous Conservative government did nothing about foreign interference because it was not to its partisan advantage to do anything about it. End quote. Madam Speaker, while the Conservatives have clearly demonstrated that they want to play games and not take this seriously, we feel that th their actions are reckless when it comes to national security and that's why we are going to do the serious work at committee and in the House to ensure our institutions are strengthened. L'honorable député de Montmagny, des îles Camorrascar, il vient du lieu. Madame la Présidente. When it's an issue of interference in Canadian elections, the Prime Minister's confidence seems rather selective. He says he trusts parliamentarians who sit on the secret special committee that will produce a secret report. But when it comes to letting his chief of staff, Katie Telford, testify before a public parliamentary committee, he flatly refuses. Why does this Prime Minister agree to one and not the other? Why will he not let Katie Telford, his Chief of Staff, testify? Thank you, Madam Speaker. And I would remind this House again that the National Security and Intelligence Committee of Parliamentarians is not a secret committee. I would also provide this House with a list of some of the things we've done. We appointed an independent panel to review the 2019 and 2021 elections, and they found that those, both those elections were free and fair. The Prime Minister announced that he's going to appoint an independent export, expert as special rapporteur to review the elections to see if there were any gaps that we need to fix. Today we announced that we would have a foreign influence registry. Madam Speaker, we... 